What's going on, YouTubers? I am going to show you how to do a uh, FOIA, uh, Freedom of Information Act. Um, there are exemptions. There are some underlying issues where certain things can be exempt, certain things can be uh, uh, shown, so on and so forth. So I am going to start with the exemptions. But you know what? It doesn't hurt to try, am I right? <laughs> so, uh, all right. Do your research. You know, that means uh, what office are you seeking it out of? You know, you got to be specific with these things. You know, because what if there's something already uh, available? Whether if it's, uh, you know, uh, criminal justice of, you know, warrants. Um, so on and so forth. Um, uh, uh, what other uh, things like uh, agricultural, uh, can you say that word right? Agricultural uh, things of that nature, so on and so forth, town hall records, so on. Uh, you know, identifying the right agency, you know, agriculture, CIA, criminal defense, uh, uh, Department of Justice, so on and so forth. Um, so, you know, once you explain to them which agencies you're looking for, uh, now what happens next, you know, whatever one that you uh, will determine what they can be, you know, what can be disclosed. Uh, they have many records that could be released. There are also nine exemptions that protect certain types of information, such as personal privacy and law enforcement interests. The length of time to respond to your request will vary depending on the complexity and any backlog of requests. So, exemptions. I just did this. Congress established nine categories of information that are not required to be released in response to the Freedom of Information Act request because release would be harmful to the government or private interests. These categories are called exemptions from disclosure and protects, for example, personal privacy. Hold on. Wait a minute. I clicked that too soon. Uh, and law enforcement, uh, personal privacy, privileged communications, and law enforcement interest. So, exemption one protects information that is properly classified under a criteria established by an executive order to be kept secret in the interest of national defense or foreign policy. Executive order specifically uh, meaning uh, whether if it's if it's uh, a governor president uh, Executive order, you know, those are executive order. Those are the only two executive orders. I can think of uh, You know, those are the only ones that they really uh, so on and so forth. So uh, But you want to know something it doesn't hurt try, you know, give it the old college try Um Exemption 2 protects information related solely to the internal personnel rule, rules and practice of an agency. Uh, basically, you know, uh, uh, he, I guess you'd say, uh, I wouldn't say practices. I would say practices like, you know, like, uh, you know, the way they do things, the playbook. Uh, Uh, eh. and I think that, you know, they're going to mention this later, but, uh, you know, I think that they mean exposing personnel's, uh, information, uh, you know, birth, well, later on it's going to talk about birthday, so on and so forth, but I think that, I, I really hope they aren't talking about, like, individuals, but, you know, because sometimes it's a little, you know, iffy, but, uh, yeah, uh, personnel, so on and so forth, so, uh, that's two. That's three. Protects information specifically exempted from disclosure by another statute if that statute either one requires 
that the matter will be withheld from the public in such a manner as to leave no discretion on the issue, or two, establish particular criteria f for withholding or refers to particular types of matters to be withheld. An Exemption 3 statute must also cite specifically to subsection B3 on of the FOIA if intacted after October 28, 2009. Exemption 3 statute. Exemption 3 incorporates into the FOIA certain non disclosure provisions that are contained in other federal laws. These laws are referred to as Exemption 3 statutes. Exemption 4 protects trade secrets and commercial or financial information that is obtained from outside the government and that is privileged or confidential. Very, uh, very, you know, blatant. Very, uh, you know, self-explanatory. Blatant, as it blatant. <laughs> Exemption five, protects certain, certain records exchanged within or between agencies that are normally privileged in the civil discovery context, such as records protected by the the deliberative process privilege provided the records are less than 25 years old, attorney work product privilege, and attorney uh, client privilege. Uh, they do mean, uh, that says it right there, attorney client privilege. There's laws for that where, uh, you know, anything that you say to your attorney as a client and vice versa is, you know, confidential. Uh, Exemption 6. Protects information about individuals in personnel and medical files and similar files when the disclosure of that information would constitute a clearly unwarranted invasion of personal privacy. They're talking about addresses, uh, birthday, uh, social security numbers, so on and so forth protects records or information compiled for law enforcement purposes but only to the extent that production of such law enforcement records or information a could reasonably be expected to interfere with enforcement proceedings b would deprive a person of a right to a fair trial or or impartial in injunction C could reasonably be expected to constitute a unwarranted invasion of personal privacy. D could reasonably be expected to disclose the identity of a confidential f source, including a state, local, or foreign agency, or authority, or any private institution which furnished information on a confidential basis. In the case of a record or information comp compiled by a criminal law enforcement authority in the course of a criminal investigation or by an agency conducting a lawful national security intelligence investigation. It also protects information furnished by the confidential source. E would disclose techniques and, and procedures for law enforcement investigations or prosecutions or would disclose guidelines for law enforcement investigations or prosecutions if such disclosure could reasonably be expected to risk circumventation of the law. Uh, F could reasonably be expected to endanger li the life or physical safety of any individual. 8. Protects information contained in or related to examination, operating, or condition reports prepared by, on behalf of, or of the use of a, a an agency responsible for the regulation or supervision of financial institution. An exemption nine protects ge geological and geophysical information 
and data includes maps and concerning wells. <sighs> so, get out of this. So, now that we've gone over that, um, now, there is, you now, you know, select the agency, you want to request the agency to see an agency contact information. Um, there's a lot of, uh, I clicked Department of Justice, but hold on. Let's see if, there we go. Hold on. Boom, boom. Okay, yeah, no, it's Department of Justice, period. Okay. Yeah, I knew, I knew, I knew it didn't because I clicked on that already. So, type in, hold on. You have an A to Z agencies. See, Denali Commission, Department of Defense, Department of Health and Human Services, Department of Homeland Security, Department of Justice, Department of Labor, Department of the Treasury, Department of Transportation, Department of uh, Veterans Affairs. There's a lot of different uh, titles and government agencies where you can get information from. You just gotta, you know, just gotta, whatever your heart desires. But I am going for Department of Justice. And you can go to any of these, whether it's civil division, community relations, so on and so forth. Um, Office of Public Affairs, of Office of Attorney General, Deputy of Attorney General. There's a lot of different ones where you can, uh, you know, request. So, start her Freedom of Information Act. Of course, you're going to put first name, your organization if you have one, first and last name, organization, your email address, phone number, fax number. Uh, Mailing address, city, state, province, zip code. Your request. Additional information. <coughs> um, there's a certain document that you, that you uh, have to download trying to see where it is because this is what it is it is a certifi certificate certificate of identity this is uh for your uh because this is your request the description of the oh is that it no hold on Additional information, uh, if you are requesting records on yourself, a first party request, this tool, use this tool to upload any required documents to verify your identity. You can also use this tool, tool to upload any document that provides context for your, for your request or that could help 
Freedom of Information Act personnel process your Freedom of Information Act requests. So, I think this is it. Oh, form. Here you go. If you are seeking records about yourself, additional documentation is required to verify your identity. You can use this form. This form right here. Again, as I mentioned in my other video, PDF. And you can easily uh, fill it out on Microsoft Edge. Oh, God. Whew. Excuse me. Here you go. It's the same one as I showed you before. You now you fill this out. Name of the requester, your citizenship status, your social security number, current address, date of birth, place of birth. Signature, you use is this right here? No, hold on, wait a minute. Right click. Oh, what is that? So I text and text and it uh okay, you know what? Um one way that uh a digital signature you know, there's other ways to go around it, uh, where you do this, sorry, boom, do that, and type in your name. that S is supposed to be your digital signature. Don't know why, don't know how. They just do it that way. The court system does it that way. Just, that's the way it's done. So, um, once you do that, you save that, you know, go there, you save that to whatever file you save it to. Here for the special ones. Uh, you know, you type in my doc. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> My doc. Save it. Leave. Then you browse wherever you put it. Boy. Uh, boy. I said boy. I don't know. I seen that last name. I said boy. Koi. Koi boy. Click whatever document that you saved it as and your fees, whatever and what have you. What type of requester are you they have all different time kinds new source all and all other free fee that fee waiver justification let's say if you are a homeless mentally ill person with no uh, social security disability income so on and so forth try to raise your uh, your uh, your case uh, amount of money you're willing to pay I always put three I don't know why I put three I used to put five but I lowered it to three uh, expediting process yes no it doesn't matter uh, justification for expediting process so on and so forth and once you submit your request it's going to say thank you and that's it so on and so forth um, I really hope this video was uh, helpful to you guys in pursuit to your, uh, you know, uh, freedom of, of information, uh, uh, you know, receiving documentation for whatever thing you're trying to uh, figure it out. All right. See you again, YouTubers.